I'm Tom Davidson with Ripping Kingston Systems. As an accomplished IT firm, we focus on delivering competitive advantage while reducing your overall IT cost. Two of our more popular offerings are our Google Apps and Virtual CIO. I invite you to visit our website or call for a free consultation. Hi, it's Brian Thomas from the 55 KRC Morning Show. Happy Monday, and it's uh, Rally Day at Memorial Hall if you're in the greater Cincinnati area and you have time this afternoon. Doors at Memorial Hall, downtown Cincinnati, open at 3.30, the event featuring uh, future governor of the state of Ohio, uh, Kasich, as well as Rob Portman, variety of other uh, politicians, the GOP bus tour basically coming through town. Um, about 600 or so tickets available. Most of them have been handed out. It's really easy to get tickets, though. Just contact the uh, Republican Party or a party office in your area. It'd be pretty simple. Um, but hope to see you down there. It's going to be a good time. I'm emceeing and looking forward to seeing, uh, again, John Kasich, next governor of the state of Ohio, speak. Uh, we talked a little bit today about, well, a little bit about a variety of topics. One of the things that kind of got under my skin a little, uh, Joe Strecker, my executive producer, found an article about illegal immigrants working um, and doing canvassing in various neighborhoods around the country. I had a corollary article about um, legal immigrants documented legal immigrants, although not citizens, getting the right to vote. And there are a number of ballot initiatives on uh, around the country. And we can deal with these independently, as we did today, but the one thing about the article Joe found, have illegal immigrants going door to door, and they are campaigning actively for Democrats. Now, these are people who are not in the country legally, they don't have a green card or visa, but they're out engaging in politics. Now, isn't it the Democrats who have been complaining about alleged, alleged foreign money going into organizations like the Chamber of Commerce and that money being used to promote campaigns? I don't understand what the difference is. Someone comes into the country, breaks our laws to get here, and, those, and, and then goes and campaigns for local Democratic politicians. We have actually, the article interviewed people who are doing that. Tangible reality versus the, you know, ether-based claim out here that, oh, maybe some money happened to come into the Chamber of Commerce that they may be using for campaign ads here, and that that's bad. So, fake charge with no support versus reality. Is there really a difference between the two? Check out the articles and draw your own conclusions. I encourage you also, if you're a pumpkin guy, gal, you got a picture of a pumpkin, today's the last day. We're going to be picking the winner for the pumpkin carving contest tomorrow, and the top three are going to go on to the uh, big blowout in Hebron on the 30th. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.